the Detroit Lions made their selection late in the third round. A very good pick, in my opinion, and we're going to be talking about the Lions selection. Kirby Joseph's safety. First off, impressions when I look at this right now. A plus for the position. We needed it bad. Safety has been one of the positions this team has been neglected opposite of Tracy Walker. I am really excited to see him on the field. This is a value pick end of the third round and a need for this guy to fall there and the Lions be able to get him is fantastic. If you didn't know, the Lions brought him in for a pre-draft visit. So far of all the players that we selected, only one did not have a pre-draft visit. That is the real breadcrumbs regarding our Detroit Lions. Gridiron Blitz initial thoughts, the Lions selecting Kirby Joseph. Well, like you said, Mike, it was a position of need, and um, I like the pick, man, because we, we need a linebacker. We needed to stay out the trenches. We did. Did that the first couple of picks. Now we got a safety, and Will Harris is not it. We're talking about maybe moving him to a different position, but this is a guy that we needed, no doubt. We got him right at the end of the uh, third round with our compensatory Kenny Galladay pick, so thank you, uh, Kenny Galladay, for that. But listen, this is a spot we needed. I was just having a fit yesterday because we needed a linebacker and a safety. One down, one to go. Like the pick, man. AG, when you look at this selection, Kirby Joseph, you're high on him. You've talked about him quite a bit on your channel. Give me your initial thoughts of Kirby Joseph, what he brings to this football team. He's a dog. You know, he's a dog, but he's a refined dog. And he's a person that sees ball and goes, gets the ball. He thinks the ball is for everybody. He's a ball hawking safety. He can play the single high safety look. He can play the cover two look, which the Lions like to do, the two safeties uh, to the left and the right. He is a person that is going to always uh, throw his body into the tackle. He's a person that's going to make the tackle. He's going to be a Brad Holmes guy. And I think from an X's and O's standpoint, you look at what he offers you, being a former wide receiver, being a person who's already pretty much pro ready. He did have one season of production, but at the end of the day, I think Kirby Joseph is more the best free safety in the, in this draft. So I'm liking him. And obviously I know other people wanted Hamilton and Harp, Harp, whatever his name is. We got a terrific value pick. Let me know in the comment section below right now. Grade the pick A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know your grades right now. Mark Oram, initial thoughts of Kirby Joseph, the Detroit Lions new player. I'm really liking this pick, man. It's a big kid at 6'1", about 200 pounds, long, rangy. Um, he's a ball hawk, like uh, uh, Avery said. He had one year of production. It was his year in 2021. He had five picks. So he he, he knows how to play the position. And um, I really like that he's a down downhill guy, too. He's not going to. He's not going to be afraid to lay the lumber out there, too. Um, but a ball hawk safety is what this uh, defense need needed, and um, I'm loving the pick right now. Gridiron Blitz, when we, we, we talk about selections, I like to do grades. I like to see, you know, what everybody in Lions fandom thinks. I like to see what the folks on the panel think. Looking right now, you've been wanting defense. You've been talking about it all, all week, all month, all year long. So far, we got defensive end, wide receiver. We got a defensive line because he could be used next. And now we get safety. What is your grade right now of Kirby Joseph? Well, you know what, Mike? I'm going to get this pick a B plus, man, because uh, not only everything y'all spoke about with the player, but it's the fact that we needed this position. We needed it really, really bad. And like I said before, uh, safety was – Kind of a mishap at the end of the season. We brought in a couple guys during the offseason, but I, I think that this is the guy that's going to help change that defense, bring it out of the bottom five, and bring it up. So we needed this, man. So I'm going to give it about a B, B plus. Going to AG. Again, giving a grade of what you know about this player, the fit and everything, and the value where we got him at. We're talking late third round here. What is your grade on Kirby Joseph? Kirby Joseph is an A for me. I mean, it's 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 clear, it's abundant. He's the best field safety that you have. When I say he can play the field, he can play single high, he can play cover two, he can play cover three. And when you look at it from a scheme perspective, he can he can give you that coverage versatility. 
Last year, we were hindered because we had two safeties who thought they were hitters only and not covered safeties. This guy, he can go one-on-one with wide receivers, and he can fight for the ball. This is an A-plus pick because it's the player that I like, not the position, the player. I concur with you, man. This is it's a player I like. It's a position of need. It's a great player. Like, it's just it's a match made in heaven. Mark Orham, Orham's Forum, give me your grade on this pick. Yeah, like like everybody's saying, this was a big need uh, uh, for this defense. Um, I love the size. I'm going to give a grade of an A for sure. This is an A, a pick. Um, it's a guy that's going to come in, and he's going to automatically become that free safety. The, this team's going to play a lot of three safeties on the on scheme that they're trying to throw out there. So this guy's going to add add to this defense big time. Man. So I'm giving a solid A from, from me. So we got A's across the board except for grid. He goes a B plus. When you look at this, I'm going to go ahead and say A minus altogether. Again, let us know in the comment section below your grade. And also make sure to like this video. Let's get to, I don't know, as much likes we can get. Let's just go ahead and smash that like button if you have not done so right now. Let's just now talk about the two picks that we've had. Let's go ahead and make a grade of day two of the Detroit Lions draft. Gridiron Blitz, edge, safety. Grade so far of this second and third round. I'm going to give it an A, man. I'm going to give it an A. Um, like I said, I've been screaming about this the entire time I've been on YouTube, and I all yesterday I was screaming about defense and how we needed to improve. Brad Holmes stepped in, got the safety we needed. Did a trench thing. Just got to get that linebacker now, and we will be much improved from last year. Got the undrafted part as well, so I'm going to give it an A. Awesome, man. I tell you what, I was talking to Grid behind the scenes before we went live. He wanted defense, and he was he was talking about A, but he was talking about getting somebody's foot in an A if they did not get defense. Go to you, AG. Overall, so far in day two, rounds two and three for the Lions, what grade do you give them? I give it a B minus, and it's only getting a B minus because uh, just the Kirby Joseph pick. Tremendous fit, tremendous person, uh, player, former wide receiver, ball hawking safety. Uh, the DN, I believe, was a reach. I believe he would still be on the board at this point, but again, we, we look at the defensive end. We look at Josh, Josh, Joshua Pascal. We look at him in totality. There was a run on edges. He could be a person that brings versatility to the defense. I like the fact that he brings that, and I think they, they didn't want to take a chance trying to say, hey, we want to wait on this guy. We took him early. We knew um, the safety would go third round. So they did, they did a tremendous pick, tremendous play, uh, I think a, a B-plus for me. So we got an A, a B plus, Mark Oram, grade four, day two of the Detroit Lions NFL draft. I'm going to give this uh, uh, day two a B. Um, the Pascal pick was, um, I think, a little bit of a reach, like Avery said. Um, I do like him as a player, though, but I thought maybe he could have lasted until the fourth round. Um, he's more of, a, I think, an edge setting, run stuffing, uh, um, defensive end slash defensive tackle that can play up and down the line. And we all know how we like the safety, uh, Kirby Joseph. I think we're all unanimous there that um, he's a ball hawking safety, long rangy, big kid, 6'1", a 200 pounds. So I'm going to give it a solid B. I'm going to give you my thoughts here between the the edge and getting Kirby Joseph. You know, it was all right to get the edge, but I was really excited to get Kirby Joseph, a specific player I was wanting to get. They got it overall for day two. I give my grade of an A-. minus. I think that's a solid, solid draft so far for the this 2022 NFL draft. Done a good job. We got this offense looking good. The defense is getting strong. We're going to get after the quarterback. And I think the most important part is we got a safety of the future that can actually get the job done and not get destroyed repeatedly and repeatedly. Something Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins, they were just terrorizing this back into the defense because of Will Harris now giving Tracy Walker some help. And we signed a safety right before the draft. The back under the defense is much improved this year compared to the last couple years. Thank you to Pat Matricia. Hey, keep it going because we got more draft coming. Got another whole day going. It's going to be very interesting.
perfect. perfect.